In this video I wanted to quickly show how can we set up UDIM tiles inside Houdini. What I have done is imported from ZBrush this demo soldier model. What's cool about this is that from the ZBrush imports we actually get the attribute with our name and we can use this name attribute to drive our UDIM tiles. For test I'm just gonna show how can we do with the default groups. So let's put down for each. So for each, and there's a different loops, and we want to use this for each name primitive. So what it's going to do is just cycle between all our attributes that has word name in it, and it's going to assign its own UDIM space. So just pipe it inside here. You can see already it's working. So at the end of the loop, you can see it's gathered 11 pieces, and you should take a look at how many we have in here. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now we have 11, 11 pieces that is going to assign its own UD space. So before that, actually, if you want to know a little bit more how it works, just put down auto UV. And without anything else, you can see that in a UV space, if you put down a single pass at the end of the block, you can see it has given its own UV space for each of the groups, like that. Now we can delete this auto UV and let's put auto UV before the block beginning. So it doesn't really matter what your UVs are, as long as they are unwrapped, it's going to assign it anyway. So we have unwrapped before the for each loop, so you don't have to do your unwrapping inside the block. So that's cool. So now let's just gonna put down UV layout, node inside the block, and in this node if you take a look, and go back to the end block, and you turn on single pass, it's pretty obvious what's, look, what's happening here. It basically gives its own unwrap in its own UV space for every group that we have. And what we mean it is just to add one number inside our UV layout node. So in the UV layout there is an option to pack into UDIM tiles and click, click this default UDIMs. You can see it's basically 1001 is the default one. Then you can add whatever number and then it's going to go or on the next UDIM space, UV space. So what we can do, go back to the begin and import meta import, create meta import node. Basically this is going to be our counter. Go back and deselect the single pass. Basically this is going to be our counter that's going to add to this uh, 1001 UDIM space. So now and you can take a look at the groups and you can see it's actually the detail attribute iteration so that's what we want to reference inside our default UDIMs. To do that we can just, we just start writing inside our default UDIM box so just 1001 plus now just put down detail and then in the brackets put down the quotes dot dot slash basically now it's saying get me a detail attribute now it's asking for the what kind of which node you want so what you want to do is get the for each begin so dot dot slash means we are outside our node right now and we are inside this geo so now just put down for each you can see it's automatically going to show all the nodes that we have and now just reference for each and then close the brackets quotes and now it's going to ask what kind of and now it's actually Take a look, it's actually explaining what you need to do. Now it's, it asks you for the attribute name. So what you want to do is in brackets, say detail. Now we want to uh, iteration. And now it asks for index, which is just a simple single float. We can just put down zero and that's it. Close the brackets and we're basically done. And now if you go to the for each block at the end, you can see Every one of our named groups has its own UV space. It's cool about this, you can go back and say how many columns you want. Like that. Or even the starting UDIM. For the imported meshes, one easy way to create our own UDIMs is put down a name node. Just pipe inside here and you can see that the name group that's actually going to give you an option for groups. So from the ZBrush it's actually going to also import all of the 
attributes name with other group so you can let's say I'm going to first tree is going to be udim1 then press plus add another one so next tree are going to be udim2 then the rest of them are going to be udim4 like that and now once we have we basically have overrided our our previous groups with the names so now if you pay up inside here all of it is going to work and go back to the loops at the end you have only three udims with the UD1, 2 and 3 so that is how can we customize let's say you only want legs in one legs and pads and boots in one udim tile udim space so so that's the easy way you can do that and of course this for each loop can be saved as a digital asset so you can just with one click put it down and it's automatically going to unwrap it and you don't have to go around there and do it again every time when you want to unwrap UDIMs. I just exported FBX and opened up in Substance Painter you can see we have our UDIM tiles we can add them materials individually hope you found this video useful Take care and see you next time.